Atkins Diet, Wikipedia Article Audio The Atkins Diet, also known as the Atkins Nutritional Approach, is a commercial weight loss program devised by Robert Atkins. The Atkins Diet is classified as a low-carbohydrate fad diet. The diet is marketed with questionable claims that carbohydrate restriction is critical to weight loss. There is no good evidence of the diet's effectiveness in achieving weight loss. There is weak evidence that the Atkins diet is more effective than behavioral counseling for weight loss at 6 to 12 months. One review found that the Atkins diet led to 0.1% to 2.9% more weight loss at one year compared to control groups which received behavioral counseling for weight loss. As with other commercial weight loss programs, the effect size is smaller over longer periods. The diet may increase the risk of heart disease. Effectiveness Description There is some evidence that adults with epilepsy may benefit from the effect of seizure reduction deriving from therapeutic ketogenic diets, and that a less strict regimen, such as a modified Atkins diet, is similarly effective. The Atkins diet is a kind of low-carbohydrate fad diet. It was inspired by a low-carbohydrate approach published by Alfred W. Pennington, based on research Pennington did during World War II at DuPont. The Atkins diet is promoted with questionable claims that carbohydrate restriction is the key to weight loss. In his early books such as Dr. Atkins' New Diet Revolution, Atkins made the controversial argument that the low-carbohydrate diet produces a metabolic advantage because burning fat takes more calories so you expend more calories. He cited one study in which he estimated this advantage to be 950 calories per day. A review study published in Lancet concluded that there was no such metabolic advantage and dieters were simply eating fewer calories due to boredom. Astrup stated, the monotony and simplicity of the diet could inhibit appetite and food intake. David L. Katz has characterized Atkins' claim as nonsense. The diet restricts net carbs. One effect is a tendency to decrease the onset of hunger, perhaps because of longer duration of digestion. The 2002 book New Diet Revolution states that hunger is the number one reason that low-fat diets fail, and that the diet is easier because one is satisfied with adequate protein, fat, and fiber. Net carbohydrates can be calculated from a food source by subtracting fiber and sugar alcohols from total carbohydrates. Sugar alcohols contain about 2 calories per gram, although the American Diabetes Association recommends that diabetics not count alcohol as carbohydrates. Fructose has 4 calories per gram but has a very low glycemic index and does not cause insulin production probably because beta cells have low levels of GLUT5. Leptin, an appetite-regulating hormone, is not triggered following consumption of fructose. This may for some create an unsatisfying feeling after consumption which might promote binge behavior that culminates in an increased blood triglyceride level arising from fructose conversion by the liver. Popularity Preferred foods in all categories are whole, unprocessed foods with a low glycemic index, although restrictions for low glycemic carbohydrates are the same as those for high glycemic carbohydrates. Atkins Nutritionals, the company formed to market foods that work with the diet, recommends that no more than 20% of calories eaten while on the diet come from saturated fat. The Atkins Nutritional Approach gained widespread popularity in 2003 and 2004. At the height of its popularity 1 in 11 North American adults claimed to be on a low-carb diet such as Atkins. 
This large following was blamed for large declines in the sales of carbohydrate-heavy foods like pasta and rice, sales were down 8.2 and 4.6 percent, respectively, in 2003. The diet's success was even blamed for a decline in Krispy Kreme sales. Trying to capitalize on the low-carb craze, many companies released special product lines that were low in carbohydrates. Controversies In 2003, Atkins died from a fatal head injury due to a fall on ice, and while he had a history of heart disease, Mrs. Atkins was quoted as stating that the circumstances of his death from an epidural hematoma had nothing to do with his diet or history of viral cardiomyopathy. On July 31, 2005, the Atkins Nutritional Company filed for Chapter 11 bankruptcy protection after the percentage of adults on the diet declined to 2% and sales of Atkins brand products fell steeply in the second half of 2004. The company continues to operate and the diet plan remains popular, although it has not regained its former popularity. An analysis conducted by Forbes magazine found that the sample menu from the Atkins Nutritional Approach is one of the top five in the expense category of 10 plans Forbes analyzed. This was due to the inclusion of recipes with some high-cost ingredients such as lobster tails which were put in the book to demonstrate the variety of foods which could be consumed on the diet. The analysis showed the median average of the 10 diets was approximately 50% higher, and Atkins 80% higher, than the American national average. The Atkins diet was less expensive than the Jenny Craig diet and more expensive than Weight Watchers. Misconceptions about the diet Low-carbohydrate diets have been the subject of heated debate in medical circles for three decades. They are still controversial and only recently has any serious research supported some aspects of Atkins claims, especially for short-term weight loss. In a comparison study by Donsinger and colleagues, the goal was to compare popular diets like Atkins, Ornish, Weight Watchers, and Zone for the amount of weight lost and a heart disease risk reduction. In the study there were 160 participants and it lasted for one year. All the subjects were overweight at baseline, and had an increased risk for cardiac diseases. One of the diets was assigned to each person. Atkins Nutritionals The Atkins Diet Group were to eat 20 grams of Cho a day, with a gradual increase toward 50 grams daily but according to the study increased to well over 130 grams after the second month and up to 190 grams by the sixth month. At this point, the Atkins diet group were eating carbohydrates equivalent to the other three groups. The zone group ate a 40-30-30% diet of carbohydrates, fats and proteins respectively. The Weight Watchers group was to keep the points of their food in a determined range, based on their weight. The group that was supposed to represent the Ornish diet ate a diet very unlike the Ornish diet that had been shown to reverse heart disease, taking in 30% of calories from fat rather than the suggested 10%, up to 20 grams of saturated fat a day, and only 15 grams of dietary fiber indicating that the diet was not based on whole plant foods like the typical Ornish diet. The weight, waist size, blood pressure, and a blood sample were taken, at the beginning, after 2 months, 6 months, and 12 months. All four diets resulted in modest weight loss and improvement in several cardiac risk factors, with no significant differences between the diets. Others in the scientific community also raised questions regarding the efficacy and safety of the diet. Many people believe that the Atkins diet promotes eating unlimited amounts of fatty meats and cheeses. 
This was allowed and promoted in early editions of the book. In the newest revision, not written by the now deceased Atkins, this is not promoted. The Atkins diet does not impose caloric restriction, or definite limits on proteins, with Atkins saying in his book that this plan is not a license to gorge, but rather promotes eating protein until satiated. The Director of Research and Education for Atkins Nutritionals, Colette Homowitz, has stated that the newer revisions are intended to clarify rather than replace the correct advice in the older books. The Atkins diet was labeled as a high-fat diet, Westman said in an interview with the New York Times. We've been told over the past 40 years that fat in the diet is bad. Now we know that fat is not bad. What's happened is that there is a paradigm shift in thinking about carbohydrates, fat and protein and health. Atkins Nutritionals, Inc. was founded in 1989 by Atkins to promote the sale of Atkins branded products. Following his death, waning popularity of the diet and a reduction in demand for Atkins products, Atkins Nutritionals, Inc. filed for Chapter 11 Bankruptcy Protection on July 31, 2005 citing losses of $340 million. It was subsequently purchased by North Castle Partners in 2007 and switched its emphasis to low-carb snacks. In 2010, the company was acquired by Rourke Capital Group. Robert Eckel of the American Heart Association said that high-protein, low-carbohydrate diets put people at risk of heart disease. A long-term study published in the New England Journal of Medicine in 2006 found that while women on low-carb diets were generally healthier than those on high-carbohydrate diets, women eating more protein and fat from vegetable sources, rather than from animal sources, had a lower risk of heart disease, a 2001 review by Friedman ETAL published in the journal Obesity Research concluded that low-carb dieters' initial advantage in weight loss was a result of increased water loss, and that after the initial period, low-carbohydrate diets produce similar fat loss to other diets with similar caloric intake.